from Daily Forex, this is Chris taking a look at the um, S&P 500 and the NASDAQ 100. And we finally did it. We're above the 3400 level. Now we're at an all-time high. We have a couple of hammers sitting just underneath. So short-term pullbacks should continue to be bought into. Especially as, you know, there's only like five or six stocks that people trade anymore. Um, they move the indices because there's such a huge chunk of it. Um, so, you know, and it's the usual. It's Microsoft. Facebook, Apple, et cetera, et cetera, Netflix. So really at this point, buying the dips should continue to work. I think we're going to go to 3450 after a dip and then 3500. Over here, um, this is the NASDAQ 100. Looks like it may pull back a bit, but I think 11,500 should be support. Or um, even if we broke down from there, 11,000 and this uptrend line, I think both come into play. Again, it's the same story. It's just a handful of stocks. Watch the ones that they talk about on all the financial channels. There's a reason they talk about it, because they outsized um, the effect on these indices. You know, if Apple, Netflix, Google, Facebook, or Alphabet, I should say, Facebook, uh, and uh, Microsoft all rally these can't go down and that's just the way it is and people are buying into the lockdown uh culture so again i think we eventually go higher might get a short-term pullback but jerome powell will certainly say nothing this week at the jackson hole symposium to upset the market mm -hmm.